Okay, this is, I'm recording this just in case some of you don't get finished with it, so your parents will know what you're actually doing when you get home, okay? All right, now, <coughs> this is your, what we're going to do right now for the next 10 or 15 minutes. If you happen not to get finished, it will be uh, your homework tonight. Now, let's read the directions. It says, parts of speech. Draw a vertical line. Vertical line means up and down. Separating the subject from the predicate. Now, subject is what the sentence is about. The predicate is the action part. Now, also, it says circle the nouns. So, you are going to circle the nouns. We are going to draw a wiggly line under the verbs. And we're going to draw a box around the adjectives. And then, of course, you're going to match the adjective with the noun that it describes. Pottery is like a pot. Okay, now, <clears throat> so very first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate the subject part of the sentence to the predicate. When I say subject, I mean what is the sentence about or who is the sentence about. Number one says the pottery was from a small factory. The pottery was from a small factory. What is the subject of this sentence? Yes, sir. The pottery. So I'm going to draw a vertical line which goes up and down right there. I'm separating the subject of the sentence, which is the pottery, from the predicate, which is was from the was from a small factory. Now, does that mean that only verbs are going to be on this side? No. I'm just simply separating the subject from the predicate. It could help me diagram the sentence a little better. Okay, now, number one, the small pottery was from a small factory. Who wants to raise their hand and tell me what the nouns are? What are the nouns in my sentence? Yes, sir. Person, place, or thing. Factory is a noun. Very good. I have one more. The pottery was... I'm sorry? No, small's not. No. Pottery. Very good. Okay, so we have separated the subject from the predicate. And then we have found the nouns. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look for our verb. When we find our verb, we are simply going to draw a wiggly line. What is our, <coughs> excuse me, what is our verb? What is our verb? Yes, sir. No, not small. Small is describing something. My verb. Look where we drew the subject predicate line. Okay. Was. Was. Very good. Now, the pottery was from a small factory. So please stop bouncing. Now I'm looking for an adjective. The adjective is what is describing the noun. What word, the pottery was from a small factory, is describing the noun? Yes, ma'am. Um, small. small. Very good. So I'm going to put a box around small. And then I'm going to draw an arrow from small to what? Um, What's small describing? Yeah, factory. factory. So just like that. Okay, let's look at number two. Some artists draw pictures on cloth. 
Some authors draw pictures on cloth. What is my subject of this sentence? Yes, sir. Yes. What's the subject part of the sentence? Yes, ma'am. Some artists. Very good. So some artist is my subject. That's what this sentence is about. Draw pictures on cloth is my predicate part. Now, I need to find nouns. Okay? What is my noun or nouns? I have nouns. Some artists draw pictures on cloth. Give me one noun. Yes, sir. Artist. Artist. Very good. What is another noun? Yes, sir. Cloth. cloth. Very good. What is the other noun? Yes, sir. Um, pictures. Very good. So we have three nouns in this thing right here. All right, now we have our subject predicate separated. We have our nouns. Now we got to find our, our our little verb. What is our verb? What is showing action, Gray? What show at what shows action? Some artists draw pictures on cloth. Yes, sir. No, sir. Right here. Says some artists draw pictures on cloth. What is the verb? What are the artists doing? They're draw. Very good. So draw. I'll give you a little hint on this. Your verb tends to be the word right after the vertical line. Just saying. All right. Now. Do I have any, do I have any adjectives? Yes or no? Yes. What is it? Some. Some. Very good. Some tells me a number. Some what? Some artist. artist. Now, do you understand what you have to do? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes. All right. Now, you are going to finish. Now, let's turn it over on the back and let's just look at this. It says make up two sentences that have nouns, verbs, and adjectives and mark them like you did in numbers 1 through 10. So basically, you are going to create two sentences. Okay? One sentence, second sentence. Just like that. Be creative, but it has to have a noun, a verb, and an adjective. What blank thing? On the bottom. It's just where they didn't write anything in there. So, like, let's say if we all did one sentence together, I would say, yes, the small child went to the doctor. Okay, let's say that's our sentence. Okay, this is our sentence. This is your first, I'll, we'll just do this as one of your sentences. Okay, the small child went to the doctor. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now, what is my subject of this sentence? What is this sentence about, McKenna? Okay, very good. So the small child is my subject, which means went to the doctor is my start to the pay pre predicate. Very good. Now I have two nouns. What's one of them? Yes, sir. Child. Yes, ma'am. What's the other one? Doctor. Doctor. Okay, what's my verb? What's, what did the child do? What is the child doing? Okay, we didn't say going, it's went. Very good. Okay, and do I have an adjective? 
Small, very good. Okay. And it describes the child, very good. So this is what you're going to do for the next 10 minutes or so. Uh -huh. This is what you're going to do for the next 10 minutes. And if whatever you do not get finished will be your homework. Okay.